This is Matt Russell from the FX Power Course, and welcome to the Daily FX Walkthrough. So here are the four pairs that I will be discussing this evening, the Euro Pound, the Aussie Kiwi, the Pound Swiss, and the Euro Swiss. So let's go ahead and pull up the charts. The first chart is the Euro Pound. Let me slide this over just a little bit. And this is that support line that I was using for the past several reports. We can see a nice rally off that support line. As I mentioned during yesterday's report, I would look for prices to come. Um, this is the hourly chart once again. Uh, I would look for prices to come down just around that 91 figure where we might look to enter as that was previous resistance. We might now expect that to act as future support. The next chart is the Aussie Kiwi dollar, and this is a daily chart. And as I was mentioning uh, in the past several reports, using that 129.67 uh, high as a reference point, looking for short trades. As I, just in my mind's eye, this looks like a one-two, and prices might not exceed that this high over here on the left, which is 129.67, uh, I believe. So uh, moving forward, same thing here. I would just look for short-term short setups, maybe maybe looking to make about 20 pips with your stop above that 129.67 high. Yes, it would be a large loss, but again, you, and this is a, a key thing with trading, is that if you are stopped out, you want to make sure there, there's a technical event occurring. So in this case, prices would be making multi-year highs um, on the Aussie Kiwi, and that's a good reason to be stopped out. You, you can't be mad about that. The next chart is the uh, pound Swiss, and not much has changed here. We can see this is the resistance line that I was using in the past several reports, and prices did fall off that resistance line, as I mentioned yesterday. Yesterday, if you were able to get an entry um, right here at this point or anywhere near that line, uh, we might take profits below that 160 figure, and prices are there right now. So that's what I would do, and and just move forward from this point. Maybe look for some other opportunities. I will update the chart uh, for the next report to see if we can see anything uh, developing in this pair. The last chart is the Euro Swiss, and as I mentioned yesterday, this is the uh, simple support line that I've been using for the past, uh, I'd say now five or six reports, and I said I was waiting for prices to come down and test this line from the opposite side and prices are right now approaching it ideally I would like to see maybe another 20 pips or so uh, to actually touch that line and then place a stop about 50 pips or so above the line so that's a setup that could certainly occur within the next uh, you know 24 to 48 hours so of all the trades or potential trades that I mentioned tonight this is the one that I'd certainly uh, keep an eye on um, or keep you know up in front in your mind um, for an entry again uh, on the opposite side of this previous support line, which should now act as resistance. Again, this is Matt Russell. I'm an FX Power Course instructor here at FXCM. Thanks for listening.